Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Look, the House passed four pieces of legislation that are directly affecting veterans. I wanted to share that with you. The, the actual headline uh, here uh, is House passes four veterans bills, including key disability claims modernization legislation. So four pieces of legislation passed the House and uh, wanted to read through that. It uh, just happened uh, on September 21st. So bringing it to you so you're aware of what's going on and the different things that it could affect you or uh, any of our brothers or sisters. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Helps to continue to push this information out there to those in need and really to keep us all aware, right? Uh, also, if you're not a member, consider joining. It does help the channel immensely and it helps me to find you in the comments. All right, jumping into it. House Committee on Veterans Affairs, Chairman Mike Boast released the following statement after the House passed four bipartisan veterans bills this week. Uh, the bills that moved through the House this week make up four big wins for veterans and their families. These bipartisan bills will improve the oversight process of schools who offer GI Bill benefits, modernize the disability exam claims process, strengthen benefits for children of Vietnam veterans born with spina bifida, and memorialize the service of a Medal of Honor hero. I'm especially proud to see the passage of our subcommittee on Disability Assistance and Memorial Affairs Chairman Representative Luttrell's first bill since coming to Congress. Mr. Luttrell knows good policy for veterans seeking their well-earned benefits, which is exactly what, his, what uh, is in his bill. The Veterans Benefits Improvement Act will do for veterans. This bill cuts through the red tape that prevents our veterans from easily accessing the disability benefits from VA that they have earned and makes long overdue modern improvements to the claims process, which we all can agree is something that is much needed. There has been some changes over the you know past five years or so uh, with the claims process, but uh, you know more more tweaks are are definitely welcomed uh, if they're going to make it a more smooth process. Uh, moving on here, the House also passed a bill to designate a New Mexico VA clinic as the Hiroshi Hershey Mayamira VA clinic to honor an inspiring American hero. The son of Japanese immigrants, Hershey joined the U.S. Army in the final days of World War II and was called back to active duty at the outbreak of the Korea War or Korean War. Hershey displayed heroic actions throughout the war by always putting his fellow soldiers first. He was then captured and held as a prisoner of war for over 28 months prior to his release in 1953, which later earned him the Medal of Honor. This week, the House ensured that his heroic time in uniform and sacrifice will never be forgotten. I look forward to seeing all these bills passed in both chambers and signed into law as soon as possible. The following bills were passed out of the House this week. I'm going to give you the, uh, the numbers here so everyone is aware uh, of them so that way you can express support uh, as and where needed. So uh, HR, House of Representatives, Bill 1530, so HR 1530 is the Veterans Benefits Improvement Act. And that is uh, Representative Luttrell's bill. Uh, again, 1530 is the House of Representatives bill, Veterans Benefits Improvement Act. Next one is H.R. 3981. 3981, the Isaacson's Row Education Oversight Expansion Act, uh, Representative McGarvey. And that again is H.R. 3981, House of Representatives bill. 3981. Next one is Senate Bill 112. Senate Bill 112, a bill to amend Title 38 United States Code to strengthen benefits for children of Vietnam veterans born with spina bifida and for other purposes. Senator Braun. Uh, so that's uh, Senate Bill 112. Uh, you know, anything that has to do with, uh, with the uh, dependent children of Vietnam veterans born with spina bifida, I'm I'm all about man. That's uh, what a what a 
what a price to pay, right? Um, so Senate Bill 112. Uh, so next one is uh, Senate Bill 475, Senate Bill 475, to designate the clinic of the Department of Veterans Affairs in Gallup, New Mexico, as the uh, Hiroshi Hershey Mayamira VA clinic, and that was uh, Senator Heinrich. And that will conclude that update of those four pieces of legislation and uh, that have passed the House. So want to just keep you up to date, keep you in the know. Uh, this just came out, like I said, on September 21st. So now you're aware of things that are moving, uh, moving forward. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Have a great one. Remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.